all right so apple released the ios 14.5 iphones and in today's video we are going to check out that firmware on my iphone 10r so without wasting any more time let's get right in today's video so this is my iphone 10r and this 10r was earlier on ios 14.4 and updated it to the ios 14.5 beta 3 i didn't test it in beta 1 and beta 2 on this device particularly because uh, you know this device was not performing really good i did install those uh, betas on my device it was performing all right but still the performance on my ios 14.4 firmware on my iphone 10r was a bit better so i choose to go to ios 14.4 and here is my quick thoughts after installing this update on my device first is that i have actually freed up some storage from my iphone 10r i was earlier at 81 gigabytes and now i i have around 82 gigabytes so i actually got uh, a gigabyte of storage back which is always pretty good i'm installing that update on my iphone 12 right now i just finished up installing that update on my iphone 7 as you can see uh, your iphone has been updated to ios 14.5 so you guys can wait for those videos on my iphone 12 and on my iphone 7 uh, i won't be able to post daily because my exams are going on but still i'll try my best for you guys to post as frequent as i can so talking about the battery life the battery life on my device on this firmware is performing almost the same as the ios 40.5 i've used low power mode for all the time because i have it on the automation so here you can see when jazz iphone is connected it is it just i have low power mode set this shortcut on pretty much all of my devices if you'll see here on even on my iphone 7 i got low power mode on so I would also recommend you guys to turn this automation on on your devices or while you are on betas because you know betas do not really give a really great battery life to iPhones. So I always use this automation on my devices whenever I am on beta and whenever if you are playing a game just don't use low power mode on any of your device even if you have an iPhone 12. Just don't use iPhone, just low power mode on your iPhone before uh, playing a game I mean uh, before you play a game just turn off the low power mode because it really throttles your performance a lot by uh, long margins so trust me just do not do not do that and uh, you will get a much better performance when your low power mode is off talking about the changes there are not a lot of new changes that I found in this particular beta but still there are some bug fixes that uh, people were having some trouble or using the i message but that is now gone on the iphone 10r but on my iphone 12 uh, i'll install it and review it to you guys as soon as possible it is currently installing and uh, i'm on the beta 2 of uh, us 14 5 on my device so it is performing pretty good and i have pretty good hope for my iphone 12 to run this firmware uh, because on my iphone 10r the betas for, for from past couple of days it's running pretty good not gonna lie and uh, on my iphone 7 iphone 7 is performing pretty good too but still iphone 10r i was not covering it that much so iphone 10r in terms of battery life is performing all right in terms of performance it is performing really good not gonna lie it is performing much better than ios 14.4 so i can't wait for the release candidate aka the gold master aka almost the final release of ios 14.5 so ios 14.5 final release when you are going to see this i think the final release is going to appear on march 15th or later this month for sure in march we will see the ios 14.5 i have planned a lot of videos for you guys on ios 14.5 on my iphone 10 so watch out for them and turn on notification because i don't want you guys to miss those videos peace out and i'll meet you all in the very next episode